welcome back welcome back this is infrastructure and users so this is another part of the practical activity for activity three i believe so i made some quick notes here so i would say list all the people and or things in the company that need to do anything so the website is a thing the owner is a person uh, the till system is a thing, the assistant manager is a person, the, the people that come to the restaurant are obviously people, the, the mobile phones that they use are things, so list all of those things and we're going to use that, so those are the users and the infrastructure is the, is the actual system that helps them to do that thing. So list what each person or thing needs to do. So the owner needs to be able to um, put stuff online and 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 in interview people, message them, but whatever the owner needs to be able to do. OK, I'm going to go through the examples so not to worry. I would list all the hardware in the company as well. And I would also list all the software in the company. So this is where your research is going to come in very handy for hardware and software. So I would itemize the list. And to itemize something simply means to add it one at a time, um, just detail it. So for example, I would have 10 Legion 5i Pro laptops, and this would be the spec, the general spec. I might have uh, two desktops and I would put the spec. I would have one Canon, I think my printer is a Canon MG7550. I would have a Motorola G200, uh, 5G, whatever the name is. So itemize the list for the hardware itemize a list for the software software list itemized might be like windows 11 pro it might be um android on the tablets and on the the till system whatever the case is you itemize a list your antivirus your operating system your software you're using this itemize everything let me go and show the example i've done let me scroll down so this is all the company hardware that i could think of that i would need for this company that we've been working on so I'm just going to quickly go through and try and give some context as to maybe why that one. So I've said three company laptops, the Asus Vivo, but I just found a random laptop that had decent middle of the ground spec. Core i5, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of SSD storage, Windows 11, maybe Windows 11 Pro, but let's leave that there for now. Now, why this laptop is not too expensive. It's about three, four hundred pounds, not too expensive. It's fast enough to do the basic admin stuff that they need to do but it won't slow down in a couple of years this would still be relevant in about four or five years so that's why a wired fiber optic router or modem so this gives me access to the outside world i would say wired <coughs> excuse me because wired is typically faster than wireless now obviously we have 5g modems as well which are stupid fast but for now i would do wired and i would do wireless i also have a 4g stroke 5g router or modem and i would have both of these because we're going to be taking card payments, we need to actually access the internet so that when the person taps their card or taps their phone or types their pin in when they use their card, the internet is going to go to the bank, request the money from the person's bank account. If there is enough money, take it. If there's not enough money, decline the card. So we need to have internet access at all times. So if the wired goes down, so let's say Virgin, something happens to Virgin like it always does. It goes down. I can quickly jump onto my 4G or 5G. I don't need to worry too much. A switch. Uh, choose a specific one that you like. Why? We're going to have multiple PCs. We're, we're going to have screens. We're going to have laptops. We're going to have tablets. We're going to have everything that we can actually connect to a switch. Now, switches typically have wired connections. So I'm going to leave it as a switch for now. Um, storage server, because we're going to store people's details. Uh, we're going to store the menu images, everything I want to put on the website. 10 smartphones, I would say the Motorola G53, very cheap, very, um, I think they're like 150 pounds and it's not going to break the bank. Uh, 10 Android tablets, again, with 4G and we want 4G just in case the Wi-Fi doesn't work. Just in case we need to do something and Wi-Fi isn't working, we can use the 4G. Firewall software, I would use Kaspersky or, or AVG or Norton, you choose, it's totally up to you. But because it's a company, I would probably go for one that's... Um, tailored to small businesses uh, i would do wireless access points because we're going to have mobile phones we're going to have laptops we're going to have tablets we're going to have customers who want access to the wi-fi so i'll use wireless access points as well cctv this is the one i have in my house so this i just chose that one because it's a decent one i can add a memory card once it's connected to my wi-fi i can access it from anywhere in the world via the app nice and simple it was like 30 pounds it was very cheap we have an EPOS, a stationary and or mobile, so electronic point of sale system. We can have one that's stationary, that, so the typical till system that we have in shops, or we can have one that has 
um, I'm not sure if you go into Argos or one of those shops now, they have the thing in their hand that they can search for stuff. You can tap your card on it on pay. Some restaurants have it as well. You might want to have one of those. Network cabling. So I'm just going to say Ethernet. Keep it simple. Printer. Oh, I did mention it here. That's the printer I have. Kitchen monitors that simply shows the orders that are, um, well, the orders that need to be done. So this is all my hardware and I've justified, I think I justified most of what I need, um, why I needed each piece of hardware. Then the next thing I would do is again, a list of all the software and I'm going to try and give context again, just so it's super, super clear why. Windows 11 Professional. I think the professional version of Windows has extra encryption stuff built in. Android 12 Plus, so Android 12 or above. Android 12 is the most recent version of Android, I think. 12 or 13, I don't remember. Put whatever the most recent one is because the most recent one is going to have more security. Or, well, it's going to have a lot more security features and a lot more features in general. Microsoft Office, uh, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneDrive, Teams, Publisher. Um, why do we need Word? decent for spell check i need to write a letter and send it out to someone i need to create a contract i can use that excel the accountant can use that powerpoint if i need to present something to the team i can use that OneDrive i can use to back up my files teams is what the company is going to use to communicate it's very secure it's it comes with microsoft office so you don't need to use something like whatsapp um, you microsoft publisher we're going to make um, marketing material we're going to make leaflets we're going to make menus we're going to make banners where you can use publisher for that we would use all these three apps We'd have the delivery restaurant app, Just Eat and Uber Eats, just so that people can order online. People, people can order online and come in store to pick up, or they can sit at their seats and order online and we bring it to their seats. Nice and simple. The banking app, I would use Halifax again, just because I'm a Halifax customer and it I think is really easy. Anti-malware Windows Defender, this is just the one I use, but if you're a company, you want to use something a bit more robust. VPN, give the name from your research. Um, I don't know any VPNs to be fair. I keep forgetting the names of them, but whichever VPN you think is necessary. And again, that's a piece of software. We have a firewall. I forgot to put, no, I did have a firewall in hardware as well. That's fine. So I would have both hardware firewall. So a physical box that sits at the edge of my network to try and prevent stuff from coming in. That's number one. And I would also have a software firewall. So a software firewall is just an app installer, my, my, uh, my mobiles, my tablets, my PCs, anything that's connected to the network or the internet should have a firewall installed. And we have IDS and IPS system. So intrusion detection system and intrusion prevention, or, I'm sorry, protection systems. Um, this is a bit overkill because your firewall for a very small business of like what, 10, 15 people should be okay. But this is just in case you have a massive company like Google, Microsoft, Amazon, Firefox that needs to have super, super good protection. I would use something like this. Uh, website, browser, Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge as a backup. Microsoft, Google Chrome is very up to date and most plugins work. Microsoft Edge is now using the Chromium or the Chrome source code. So they're essentially the same browser. They just look different. That's it. Next, okay, so that's all the hardware and that's all the software. The next thing I would do is to mention the relevant legislations that I need to incorporate within that company. So give a generic description of the act and how your specific scenario might make use of it. For example, um, let's say the Health and Safety Act. It's a kitchen. People are going to be cooking knives, uh, machetes to cut the meat, uh, not machetes. You know that thing they used to chop the meat with the handle, whatever it's called, right? A cleaver, I think. Health and safety, there's going to be electronics, there's going to be water, there's going to be um, whatever you think you need to use from the Health and Safety Act, use it. Data Protection Act, people are going to be making orders online, so you need to keep their details safe. You're going to have the details of your employees, well, not you, but the person who owns the company. So you need to make sure that it's kept relatively safe. It can never be 100% safe, but make sure it's encrypted, make sure it's on a backup server, make sure that only very few people have access to it, make sure that there's a log so that whoever logs into it and, and, and actually looks at the data, you, you can go back and check when this happened, you can ask the person what where, what what did they need from this data, whatever you think is necessary. <clears throat> okay, so here we go now, we're down to the, the meat of the matter. So again, a list of all the hardware, a list of all the software, a list of the, the necessary legislation that you think is going to be important for your scenario. And for this scenario, I've gone ahead and said the person or thing for me, the very first one is going to be the owner. The systems needed, you don't need to do this part. I've I haven't seen it in any of the past paper um, examples given by the examiners, but I was like, why not? I just did it for this one, so I'm not going to do it again. Systems needed, wireless access point, laptop, smartphone, tablet, server, 
website. So that's going to be a cloud website. So I'm not going to have a local server for my website. It doesn't really make sense. It's going to, um, even though I have an IT person to manage all of it, it's going to cost me too much to set up and to maintain. Whereas Amazon already has everything set up for this. I can pay them five, 10 pounds a month, done. The restaurant apps, the printer, so on and so forth. So whatever this person needs to do their job, whether it be hardware and software, I would put it here. The role description does describe the role of the person. Now, this has already been given to us in the scenario and from what you can deduce from that. So, for example, let me zoom in. And again, this is the owner. The owner needs to place vacant roles onto job websites. So he's going to need a PC, tablet with Microsoft Word and a web browser to do this. Contracts and interviews. Uh, sorry, not contracts, contacts and interviews potential workers. So people who want a job, uh, they're, they're going to apply. He's going to, he or she's going to read through the contracts, um, read through the application that they've given and invite them in for an interview, creates working contracts and prints them out. So it, if and when the person is successful in the interview sex, um, stage, they're going to come in, they're going to um, get a contract, they're going to sign it. And again, you need a PC and a printer for this. Manages database of workers using Microsoft Access. So it's simply going to be a case of we need to know the details of everyone working for us. We need to have that information somewhere. The best place to do that is to have it in a database software. That's number one. Uh, manages all the content on the website. Again, PC. They said that this person will update the website, manage all the content or the flyers, whatever they need to do. PC. Keep it nice and simple. Create the content to be used for marketing the business. Um, this is going to be a PC. This might be Microsoft Publisher. This might be um, Adobe Fireworks, not Fireworks, Adobe Photoshop, sorry. Or do whatever software and hardware you think is going to be necessary. Now, the hardware and software at the end isn't really necessary. I will simply give a description of what the person needs to do. And it can be assumed that, to be honest, they don't need to use a PC. They, they could use a mobile phone as well. They could use a tablet as well. Whatever you think they would need, I would put here. But again, this is not something that's 100% necessary. This is just me going overboard, trying to give as much context as possible. <clears throat> I said, um, update the restaurant menu when needed, uh, created by the chef and the manager. So they, this person, the owner, would have to speak to the chef and the manager to update the menu with new things. They could use Microsoft Publisher. They could use a PC. They could use a tablet. Again, whatever you think is necessary. And then the next one is liaise with managers to get updates on the day-to-day -day running of the company. For this, I want, for this one, I would probably use Microsoft Teams, right? I don't need to be there to know what's going on. I could voice note the person and be like, yo, what's happening? I could video call them and say, can you give me a walk around of what's happening? What, let's say an incident just took place and I want to know what happened straight away. I say, do me a video call and I'm going to record it. And when I record it, I want you to talk and explain to me what happened. Boom, nice and simple. Communicate with contractors, so the accountant and the IT person. Uh, check meeting occurrences, so this is going to be email, this is going to be Outlook, whatever the case is. Communicate with um, staff as well, so communicate with contractors and staff. And staff, so the general staff. So the accountant and the IT person are the contractors. They don't work for the company. They are simply contract. They are brought in when something needs to be done, and then they are sent away. That's it. So this is how this is what I would do for each person or thing in the company. And I think I made a list. So the manager, I would go through and explain again, the person or thing is the manager. You don't need to do systems needed. This is me doing overkill to try and give context. The role description, again, simply describe what this person needs to do. And you know what this person needs to do because you have it in your scenario. So you're essentially copying and pasting, but giving more detail or more context. The next one I have is the person or thing is the accountant. What does the accountant need to do? Describe their role here. Uh, the person or thing, again, we have the chef is a person. We have the, the IT person or the IT contractor is a person. We have the person as a bar staff. Uh, we has a person. We have a person as a server, as in the person who serves the food. We have a person as a customer. What do they need to do? What else do I have? I think that's it. Um, you can make a full list of every person or thing. That's why at the very top, where is it? It's somewhere here. I said list all the people and or things that are in the company, so that when it comes to doing this section down here, which is here. You can say, okay, well, the owner is a person and then the manager is a person and the assistant manager is a person and the accountant is a person and the chef is a person. But then what's also a thing would be, I don't know, the file server. Um, what's also another thing would be the website is a thing technically. What would be a thing also is the backup server. So 
that's what I would do for um, what's this part called again? This is called infrastructure and users. So the users are the people that would make use of the infrastructure, the stuff to, to make sure that the restaurant has its day to day runnings being done properly. So again, the users are the people. The infrastructure are the things or so the computers, the networks, the, the Internet, the website, the mobile phones, the tablets, the infrastructure that comes together, the hardware and software that comes together to help the users do what they need to do. Hopefully that was useful, a bit long winded, but uh, good luck.